Our first guest tonight, he is an Academy Award-winning filmmaker who has been entertaining and teaching us for decades. I'm so thrilled he's here tonight. Please welcome the one, the only, Michael Moore is here. Michael, I am so happy you're here. It, it, it has been the most incredible eight or so days in these United mm. States of America, which feels more ironic every time I say it out loud. How are you doing? How are you holding up? I'm, uh, I'm actually doing, I hate to say it, I'm doing well because uh, I've, I have been in my own personal lockdown for most of, of this time. But I've also tried, to, as difficult as these eight days have been, I've just tried to focus on all the good that has happened yeah. in, in recent weeks, the, the fact that two senators were elected in Georgia uh, a week or so ago, and that Georgia will now be represented by a black man and a Jewish man from Georgia. Yeah. This is, this is progress, America. Uh, so, so there are good things that are happening in spite of all the, the sadness and the, the things that we're having to deal with, especially what we learned today on the news, where um, it appears possibly some Republican members of Congress or their staff helped uh, some of the leadership of the mob the day before, gave them a tour of all the Capitol building, the tunnels underneath, and, and they, it does look like they knew what they were doing and where they were going, and now we may learn that people helped them that shouldn't have helped them, and if that's the case, uh, again, there has, there has to be consequences for everybody's actions that took place in, in a, a riot, uh, a, a mob attack against our democracy. I just I can't be more clear than that. Yeah, well, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more on, it, on every point that you made, actually. I mean, just you mentioning it then, you know, that the, the, there were Republicans, members of the Republican Party who did these things. What do you think... What, what do you think the Republican Party looks like in the next for eight years. Like, I sort of feel, and I don't feel like I know a huge amount about, uh, about the history of that party, but I feel like it's, it's going to be an incredibly rocky time. Would you agree? Worse than rocky. Honestly, I think it's over. I think it's really? over. And this is a very American thing, because our initial parties were the Federalist Party and something called the Democratic Republican Party. Sounds sweet right now. Yeah. Um, uh, those parties had to go away for various reasons. Then came the Whigs in the mid 1800s. Um, and then they went away. And this possibly could be a moment where uh, the Republican Party has to go away for uh, what it's done to this country. Now, that doesn't mean the people, we don't want a one party country. No. So, so the good people who are not lawbreakers and who love this country and who are conservative we don't they don't share my values but they have to be represented and so they may need to form a new party they may need to form a new party and then and then there may have to be like canada and great britain you have these other two parties you have the liberal democrats in the uk uh you have uh the, uh, the, the greens and something called the new democratic party in canada that's because in a nation of in Britain, 60 million people, Canada, 35 million people, no two, par two parties cannot represent the complete, complete spectrum of political thought. You need more representation. We need that in this country. We have 330 million people. So just two parties, I think eventually we're going to have to get more. It's going to be more representative. And I think when people then feel like they've got a voice, they're going to be less inclined to violence, uh, less inclined to want to overthrow, have a coup, whatever, uh, because some of them will be represented, uh, just as they are in Parliament uh, in the UK and in Canada. And, and maybe 90% of the country th thinks that, that those 10 seats over there are wackadoodle, but that's okay. Wackadoodles are, in a democracy have a right to representation. Well, arguably, one of them's just been the president of the United States. Um, and he's going to be the first president to be impeached twice. And now he only has, he has less than a week left now uh, uh, of his presidency. Will this impeachment mean anything? Can it, will it, 
Like, his, when oh. we look back on it, what, what will it mean? Yes, it will mean, first of all, that we, we went on the record for history that we will not tolerate uh, a, a president who uh, incites a mob to storm our Capitol. But don't forget the hashtag that day uh, was hashtag storm the Capitol. So they were very clear what they wanted to have happen. He's been impeached. He needs to be convicted by the Senate. The sooner, the better, because this will prevent him, first of all, from running again. He'll be prohibited. Do you or anybody, you want to listen to him for four more years talk about how he's going to be running? He's going to start his yeah. campaign rally next yeah. month for 2024? No. Yeah, no. that would be horrific. This is why even Mitch McConnell knows that they've got to stop this somehow. And they can have the trial afterwards because he's committed the crime. He's been impeached. In other words, he's been indicted. Now he's going to have to stand trial. And hopefully the Senate uh, will do the right thing. But yes, I think it's very important that we proceed with this. And just because it's just five or six days uh, till inauguration, that's five or six more days with somebody who is completely, as Nancy Pelosi said, he's unhinged, he's deranged, and we have no idea what he'll do. Every time he's done some crazy thing, we, what do we all do that day? We go, oh, no, that, he didn't just say that. He didn't do that. Yes, he did. And, and what he could do in these next five days in seven hours, last Wednesday, a week ago Wednesday, in just seven hours, they trashed our Capitol, they interrupted our democracy, and they sent 535 members of Congress fleeing for their lives. That was just seven hours. So even, even half a day is too much more for Trump to hold any kind of power. 